In this video, we're gonna talk about the top five must-haves to get into motocross. Yeah. Ah! All right, all right, all right. What's up guys, Tyler Livesey here at the MX Factory. Today we're gonna to talk about the essentials. When you get into the sport, what do you need? Some people could miss a couple things and it could be a lot of frustration, so we're gonna to try to help that out. If you enjoy our stuff, like this, subscribe, hit the bell notification, don't forget, we're giving away a bike on our Patreon account. Patreon.com slash the MX Factory, all the information's there, check it out. I have a question, I have my preference, I like sand. What's your favorite type of dirt to ride in? Comment below. The first and likely most important to set your journey on its right track is you have to have a plan. If you're interested in getting the sport and it's new to you, you've gotta know what type of riding you wanna do before you go buy all the things necessary to do that. You got trail riding, you got desert riding, you got supercross, motocross, freestyle, trials riding, or you could even be a hill climber. There's something you don't see every day. You've got to decide what journey you want to take path on. Not to say that that may change and that's okay too and you can always switch it up. Now we do multiple different facets so you're not stuck on one but you've got to kind of decide what direction you want to head so you can get everything in place to create that journey. It's not only with just your riding, you've got to make a plan on how you're going to get to the level of riding that you desire to be at. Two, we gotta buy the bike. What type of bike are we gonna buy? We got a couple different bikes right here for you guys so you can see the difference. Motocross bike, pretty simple, designed to be on the track. There's not a lot of extra to it. It's built with a little more firm suspension, knowing that it's gonna be jumping and things like that. And you move over to like a trail bike, okay? You got a headlight, suspension's a little uh, softer. It's a much quieter machine, which is nice in a lot of scenarios and just more of a linear power. Not as powerful, but also not slow by any means. Then we're gonna move on over here. This is gonna be a small trail bike. This is like something that we would start a smaller adult or a 13 to 14 year old kid. This is gonna be a Sierra 125. And then this right here is actually what I race on the motocross tracks, I think. So this is the front brake, I think. And a metal throttle, so. Yeah, you could also buy one of those. Then you can see that we have a bunch more motocross bikes here. A couple of my bikes and some customers' bikes. Make sure you do the research on this piece. Know your surroundings, okay? What you have available to ride and then kind of build a plan on, on what you want to do from there. And if you're wondering how to buy a bike, we have a used bike buying video. Link is above, check that out. It should help you along. Moving on to gear. Gear, people, you must have it. Do your research, we already have a gear video. Check that out, that'll help you along tremendously. Along with making the plan, this is all motocross gear. There are differences in the gear. Choose your plan, do the research. You can do it! Your transportation. Make sure that you have a way to get your bike somewhere before you buy the bike and it's sitting at your house and you know how to get it there. Maybe you gotta bring a baby, I don't know. These guys just popped up this morning and here we are. You could take a truck if you don't have a truck. Maybe a trailer could be a little better option. We use this quite often to get bikes around just for the ease of getting it in and out. If truck's not an option, if trailer's not an option, you can always put a receiver hitch on your vehicle, whether that be a car or a van or whatever the case may be, and you can get a hitch that will haul your bike. They call them hitch haulers. Probably most important is that you need some instruction on your riding to keep you safe. The old way of riding where you just get, put the kid on the bike, send the kid down the way, or you get on the bike and you just figure it out, it's out. We're not doing that anymore. We're going for a more safe approach. So you need to find some lessons. Call your local track. I'm sure they can reference you to someone that's coaching there. If you don't have a coach at your track, Watch our videos, watch them over and over. If that's not seeming to work and, and go to plan, have someone video you so you can see what you're doing and then watch the videos and compare and contrast. That's gonna be your best bet if you don't have a riding coach that can physically put you in right positions and build a plan for you. Hope you like that. Hope we help you get into your journey of riding motorcycles. If you like the video, we've got plenty more over here for you to study. Instagram, Patreon, and subscribe is down below. Support us, we love you guys for that. Thank you so much, we'll see you soon. Ooh, that's a good one. Camera work.